so excited for the very first Huddle Cam vlog video. Here, Tess, why don't you open this one up? <laughs> oh, today we're talking about USB video tools for educators. Hey, Tess, do you want to be in this video too? Do you want me to? Yeah. Let's break it down for them. There's three reasons that you want to be watching this video right now. First is if you're an educator looking for simple to use plug and play technology. Second type of person that'd be interested in this video is an integration company. And the third is just because you like us because we are pretty awesome. Thank you. So we're taking you guys to our warehouse in Downingtown where we have tons of USB plug and play products for educators, tools for video conferencing, video production, recording, and that nature. <gasps> Look at that! It says take one. Don't mind if I do. Geez, nice day for solar. Yeah, we're 100% powered, right? I think it's a little more than 100%. All right, we made it. So here we are in Downingtown at the Huddle Cam HD warehouse. So now, Tess, we do have a product that is both a camera and a speakerphone. Why don't you open that for him? The Huddle Cam Go has the ability to be a webcam for USB conferencing and recording, a microphone for your system, and then also a speakerphone so you can play music out of it as well. Let's start with the Huddle Pod Air. We're going to show you USB plug and play speakerphones and audio microphones from other manufacturers as well that we recommend. Here, Tess, why don't you open this one up? Ah, the HuddlePod Air. This is one of our favorite products. It has a wireless USB 2.0 connection, which is one of my favorite parts. Here's the speakerphone, which has a battery inside that allows it to be completely wireless. But my favorite part is actually this part here, the wireless dongles. You simply plug this wireless dongle USB into your computer and it works up to 30 feet, so you can have this in any classroom, give it to a student, put it on a table, put it on your desk, anywhere you need to, and it's completely wireless and rechargeable. So this is the HuddlePod Air. Next, we're gonna take you up to the other products that we recommend from our partners. You know, HuddleCam is not the only you know, company that creates USB audio solutions. It's so not? let's go take a look. It's not? Let's go take a look at some of our partners that we also recommend that have great products. Come on. Okay, here we are with some of the great USB plug and play audio devices that we know a lot of educators are using out there. Yes, we've got basically a solution for any need, whether you're video conferencing all the way up to high quality production. The Samson XPD-1 is a great wireless handheld device if you like to hold a microphone up to your hand. Next we have the Acoustic Magic. We love these. They're inside of the HuddleCam HD kits as well. You plug this in, it's a beam forming microphone. It can pick up a huge uh, space, great for classrooms. If you already have an XLR microphone uh, that you've used, you know, the SM58, some of those really great little microphones, this Shure MV, I will take that and turn it into USB. Phoenix Audio, we love these guys. They have a lot of great products and the Spider is incredibly popular. This is USB model comes in black and white. This is a Phoenix Audio Duet. This is another USB speakerphone. This is a good little personal speakerphone. If you're making uh, screen recordings at your desk where you want to record stuff, this is a great little unit as well. So that's the audio we have for you. One, two, three, four, five, six USB audio devices. They all have different solutions. Let's go over to the camera section now. It's the Huddle Cam HD 3XA. Let's open this one up because this one specifically is of a lot of interest because it's a camera and a microphone. This is one of my favorite products. You guys requested it. Why? It's your favorite Huddle Cam HD camera, the 3X, is the top selling unit that we have. 
but we put microphones into it. So you plug this into your computer, it's USB 2.0, you have the ability to zoom in to different areas, you have the ability to pan and tilt and kind of capture the action that's going on, and you can plug it, you can capture all the audio in your room. It's almost like having an acoustic magic built into our most popular 3X camera model. So it's a really great camera. Let's take things back to our office. Okay, video software. Yes, we're gonna be talking about three types of software today. There is video conferencing software. There's video production software. And then there's video editing software. The first thing that we're gonna talk about is one of our greatest assets, which is Zoom video conferencing. Yeah, Zoom, everyone's talking about it. You're gonna see it at Infocom, you're gonna see it at ISTE. You probably have seen something like this which is an awesome video conferencing system. It's super affordable. Now, some of the ways that educators are using Zoom, obviously, is for distance learning, so that if you have a really important lecture, you can connect them to your classroom. Teachers are using office hours via scheduled meetings on Zoom. Zoom is also used for recording, so you can record mm -hmm. everything that's going on. Yeah, we're gonna show you a free piece of software today that you can use to do some high-end production tactics while recording a video live. Live. That's right. This free piece of software is called Open Broadcaster Software. It has all the tools that you would want to have like an intro video, a lower third, you could do a green screen with a virtual set, recording a school play, um, or just recording a, maybe a higher production level lecture or capturing. Perfect example is the virtual set you just showed. And finally, we have video editing. Yes, so video editing. This is, we're gonna show Adobe Premiere. Adobe Premiere is one of our favorites because it allows you to edit software really, or edit video really quickly. Come back from some type of event where you've got a lot of footage, but you need to slice it up and turn it into something nice that the students will be able to watch. Tons of options out there to integrate the USB options we talked about with software. That is our video. I hope that you enjoyed it. We're on the road to Infocom. Hopefully we'll meet a lot of you either there or at ISTE. So don't forget to subscribe because we're gonna be tackling a lot of these different scenarios and solutions in videos like this. So like us and uh, follow us on LinkedIn as well because that's where we're gonna be talking. Alrighty guys, we'll see you next time. See ya. Let's go.